and then we entered Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought about the contribution you made, John, of walking in this silence. We couldn't do that in Los Angeles. Everyone wanted to know what we were doing, and some of you had to shout across the street because they wouldn't cross over <laughs> to have an intimate conversation. Like, where are you going? We're going to Long Beach. <laughs> For what? <laughs> so there was this profound interaction with communities that, that had the need to know what water meant to us and we are what, what, why are we carrying it this way. And it's an interesting thing because we, we passed estates that had you know, the lawns getting watered or you know, water running out of the driveway because people weren't conscious of it. And then there are those who are carrying the, the need for some drink of water because they can't just walk into someone's home because they're homeless houseless and a bottle of water to them is life in that day of their life so we, we encountered so many of these layers of this city interesting history about most cities is that they were founded close to rivers because that is how the idea of a city is to be understood it's to draw water from the source but not to exploit it the idea of a city is an idea. It's not just a thing, but we haven't had good planners for cities. Not in the way in which they could actually capture the flows that places like Los Angeles and others could still do. But that was not the imagination. Most cities, however, had conquest at its heart. And so people went out, capture things and bring it back to their cities to build more and more space. And that was the history of Los Angeles as well. But in our effort to bring the prayer back, the city planners told us that they had the vision and we have current technologies that can make it such that Los Angeles could retain the rain that comes into that city and not let it run off to the ocean. But they projected in time that this is something for some other date in the future. And, that, and yet, when we have these needs of employment and, and initiative, we're not hosting the potential of our city because people are not connected in the right way in the ecology of their own consciousness to see what is needed. The other part of the city that, that we encounter was the crossroads, meaning currents running from different directions, different interests, and sometimes at that point there's conflict and there were many of those and we were we were asked to make sure we protect ourselves from the potential risks that cities hold and the LAPD Los Angeles Police Department came up with us many times and said what are you guys doing <laughs> don't you know how dangerous this place is and our sharing was that we are here carrying a prayer and we believe in that. And we had no such incident of disruption and violence and chaos. And I think this is the critical part of this, this other layer of the practice. Can we imagine at these crossroads a different kind of ceremony, a different kind of hospitality? And walking into Griffith Park, which we had to get one of those permits to sleep in that night, <laughs> We, we were, had just discussed a theme called respect. How do we see each other and acknowledge each other as we walk through the streets of Los Angeles? And there was a, a gentleman who had lost bearings of his own consciousness and was just walking, talking to himself. And that night, he started to scream and we couldn't make out what he was actually saying because he was in this restroom, but the, loud, the sound was so loud. And so I got up and went, and he was there. And as I listened, he was shouting, respect, 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 respect. But this is the thing about, he was nowhere in close proximity to our conversation. But in this other state of mind, our thought process and ritual reached him, and he entered it. So I decided to join him at that level 
and said, respect, 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 respect. And I slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, respect, respect, respect. And he slowed down with me. And in the moment we made eye contact, which is respect to see again. And he saw me seeing him. And in the moment, I don't know what he witnessed, but he collected himself and walked out of the room and walked into the darkness of the night. But there's a level of his, his hospitality that I thought that were represented, that if we are willing to step into the rhythms of people who are on the edge, they can come back to the center with us. They can find, at least for one moment of time, eye contact with another human being that holds respect for their struggle, their isolation, and their potential to find sanctuary again. Mm.